purpose and reason and cause are extremely important. This is this is the why of your actions. This is knowing why you're doing what you're doing. This is the commander's intent. And so you you absolutely absolutely these are important. If you don't know why you're doing something, well then let me ask you a question. Why are you doing something? It's it's very clear, it's very simple to understand. So you got to know if if you don't know why you're doing something, then what what are you going to do when you hit an obstacle? You're going to stop. What adaptations are you going to make when things go wrong to overcome them? You're not going to make any because you don't know why you're doing it. So if you have no reason, if you have no reason for doing something, you're not going to do it. So you got to have a long-term goal. You got to understand the underlying purpose of what you're doing. Do you know who you have control over? You. You don't have control over your 9-year-old kid. You might think you do, but you don't. You don't have control over your wife to just make her, you know, get in the game. Oh, you want to you want to stay on the program. You want to cook whatever. 14 chicken breasts on a Sunday night so you got two a day during the week. Honey, make it happen. If you are a good leader and you explain what your goals are and you get her on board with the program, then yeah, guess what she's doing on Sunday night? Helping you cook some chicken breasts for the week. But this is just like anything else, man. This is just like any other leadership situation. You want to blame the team when something's going wrong? that's not going to get you a solution. You need to take ownership of the problem. You need to get the problem solved. And when I say get the problem solved, this doesn't mean impose your will on the team. That means you need to lead the team. And there's a big difference. My biggest advice to give everybody in the world is like I say, we live in an external world. Everything is is you got to see it, touch it. It's, it's, it's external. If you can for the rest of your life live inside of yourself. Stop listening to people who are calling you fat, gay, transsexual, nigger. Everything that is makes no sense. All these insecure people putting their insecurities on you, you got to flush it out. You got to just be whoever the hell God or whatever the hell you believe in. If you believe in nothing but yourself, I don't care what it is. You got to take everything and throw it away. You have to believe in one thing and that is yourself. And, and I'm not saying don't believe in God or what you believe in, but right now, for you to find greatness in yourself, you're not going to find it by looking in a book or by even hearing me. I may give you the spark, but you've got to go inside yourself to find it. And that means you got to be quiet. Go in a room, stop talking, search your soul, search your mind, search your abilities, and you'll find it. But if you're not looking for it, you won't find it. So you got to go start your journey. And the journey starts with you finding why the hell am I here on this planet Earth? Why am I here? And if you don't know that, you will live the rest of your life searching, always asking the question, why? Most of this generation quits the second they get talked to. You did this wrong, you did this wrong, or, or, or they get yelled at. It's so easy to, you know, to, to be great nowadays because everybody else is, most people are, are weak. This, this is a softened generation. So if you have any mental toughness, any, any ability, if you have any fraction of self-discipline, the ability to not want to do it, but still do it. People have a, a hard thing to understand. I hate to run. And, and, and what makes me so crazy, yeah. why do you run if you hate it? I don't want to take showers and eat either. I hate that too. That's life, man. It wasn't until I changed that mentality that I became somebody. I hated going to school. So guess what? I was dumb as sh well, One plus one is two. But if you can get through to doing things that you hate to do, on the other side is greatness.